Hello mate and welcome back. This DAS Studio video is a, uh, basically because a number of people keep asking uh, on the comments or in private uh, messages about creating ghost lights in the new era because using the old method where you just lowered the cutout opacity for the object uh, no longer works because uh, DAS Studio cynically keep changing things to make these um, do-it-yourself methods not work so here's how to do it now so as you can see I've got an empty scene at the moment with the lighting set to scene only so that only our object is going to be illuminated when we create it and I'll start off by going to texture show so you can actually see what's happening and all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere um, set the size to whatever you want. We'll just stick with the defaults 1, 12, and 24, and then we hit accept. And there you can see our sphere in our scene ready to go. And if we switch to NVIDIA iRay quickly, you'll see that um, I forgot to turn off the uh, dome lighting. So we'll do that now. Scene only, and you'll see it just becomes completely black. There's no light in that scene whatsoever. So in order for us to be able to actually see when we've created light, we need something for the light to hit. So we're going to create another object. This time we're going to create a plane. I'm just going to create a 4 meter wide plane. There you go, you can see it. And at the moment there's no light hitting it at all. So I reset my view and then we'll be able to see what happens. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to apply the Daz Uber iRay Emissive preset, which you will find inside your Daz Uber folder in your shader presets folder. So if we have our sphere selected, we have our surface selected and we double click on emissive, you can now see that it's become very slightly emissive. So that's part one of how to create our, uh, our ghost shader. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into our scripts folder in our contents folder and we're looking for a script called Create Advanced IRA Node Properties. With your object selected, double click on that script. And now when you go into your Parameters tab for your object, under Display, you should now see Enable IRA Mat. Make sure that's selected and you've completed the next step. The last step will be to come into the shader properties like so. Firstly, we're going to convert our uh, luminance units to KCDMR squared and we're also going to change the color temperature to 5000 because we don't want yellow light well you might want yellow light if you have yellow light and you're happy with it then obviously stick to it at the moment though what you can see is our object is completely black which doesn't really help yeah it's invisible sort of but we can still see it so what we need to do is we actually need to come back into the base section of our shader and at the back here where you can see refraction index and refraction weight we're actually going to crank up a refraction weight and we're going to bring our refraction index down to zero and lo and behold now our object is completely invisible ta-da and obviously it'll be invisible in uh, reflections as well you will be able to see it briefly when you move things around because your uh, render needs time to sort of apply the refraction but once you are still, there you go, you can see the object is creating light and it is invisible and we have a ghost light that we can select and move around our scene as we choose. Thanks very much for watching that guys, hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, alright? Bye bye.